Hello, my name is Jeff Rubinoff, and I'm here to show you some of the new code completion features in the NetBeans PHP Editor version 6.7. The three new code completion features I'm demonstrating today are declaring variables in comments, constructor code completion, and SQL code completion. The first feature I'm showing you is declaring variables in comments. Here we have a PHP file with two classes, book and movie. Each class has two functions. Now we're going to declare a new variable in a comment. This variable, named media, has the book return type. The syntax of the comment must be exactly as I have shown you here. The entire comment must be on one line. You can tell that the comment is correct because the var annotation is bolded. Watch what happens now when I change the syntax. You can tell the syntax is no longer correct because the annotation is no longer bolded. Next, we're going to reference a class member using code completion. You see that code completion gives us a choice of functions from the book class. So let's change the declaration to the movie class. And try this again. And we get a choice of functions from the movie class. Now we're going to add a new function, getLastMovie, with the return type movie. Here we add the return type in a comment. and the function. And after the declaration of the media variable, we'll add a line that prints out the author of the book. So echo author, add a colon, come on colon, and media and you see code completion gives us the functions from the book class. But now we say that the media variable is the result of the get last movie function. Now NetBeans recognizes that the media variable has the movie return type because it inherits it from get last movie, as you see here. Next, we'll erase all the code we've added and we'll look at the template for declaring a variable in comments. The template is the string vdoc, V-D-O-C. Press tab after typing it, and you have an empty variable declaration. I'm going to name the variable media, and I'll delete type and hit control spacebar. And you see code completion let me, lets me select the return type. But this template is more useful when you've already instantiated a class. so. I'll instantiate the book class here, see code completion helpful, and I'll instantiate the movie class. The template automatically completes the variable according to the first class instantiated after the variable declaration. In this case, the movie class is instantiated after the declaration, we hit tab, and we have a new movie variable of return type movie. If there is no instantiation after the variable declaration, the template completes the variable according to the last class instantiated before the declaration, which in this case is book. And now we've seen all there is to see for declaring variables in comments. Now we'll look at code completion for constructors. 
Here we have the class point, which includes a constructor function for variables x and y. Now we instantiate the class. New point variable, and code completion gives us the class name and the variables. Note that the parameters information function works. I remove the parameters from the instantiation and hit control P. And it tells me the parameters that belong there. I type in the X variable, a comma, and control P again. And it tells me to add the Y variable. And that's constructor code completion. The last function I'm showing you is code completion for SQL queries. Here we have the PHP person class with a function that gets the name variable from a database. So we have to add a query. So type query and add the select keyword and a space and control spacebar. That opens code completion where we have the select database connection option. Uh, dialog opens with a drop down list. Select the database connection and click OK and you see the two tables wishers and wishes. Those don't always appear. It's a little awkward because I select the table, but there's no from keyword, so I have to add that. Now I can go back and add a space. Well, well use code completion again and add the name variable. And there we go. Now, when you set the database connection, that persists for all PHP files in a project. So to change the connection for a project, you click the database connection icon up there, and that opens the select database connection dialog again, where you have a list of all your database connections. And, well, that's all for SQL code completion. Thank you for taking the time to watch this screencast. You can find a lot more material about the PHP editor in NetBeans at netbeans.org.